Muchachos, I have been obsessed, 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 obsessed. <laughs> Take two. Muchachos, I have been obsessed with a very specific type of horror. If you could even call it horror, it's more of an aesthetic. And if I just go to my home page, the very first video that's recommended is a Dreamcore video. This is how much I've been into these things. And it's the top recommended videos every time I open YouTube. And it's really hard to explain Dreamcore. So instead, I'm just going to show you the TikTok that pretty much has ruined my life. Because all I do now is look at these images and I... I just watch this. There exists a world that you can only reach between 3.30 and 3.33 a.m. Before you travel, I must advise you of a few rules. Rule number one, no matter how lovely they are, do not pick the flowers. If you do, you'll never get rid of them. Okay, that's two, creepy. If you see a tall man with no face, just keep walking. Even creepier. Whatever you do, don't stop to look at him. Rule number three, if someone offers you tea, politely decline and keep walking. If they follow you, run. How to survive the UK. <laughs> and rule number four, the most important of them all. Wear a watch at all times. Time is weird there. And if you don't have a clock on you, time will warp into nothingness and you won't know when to leave. That's all. Safe travels. Okay, that is Dream Core. Do you understand now? If you don't, that's okay. I still don't either. All I know is that these types of images give me a feeling of like, I feel like I've been there before, but I don't know when, and I can't remember how I got there. Sometimes it feels scary. Take this image, for example. Something about that place, to me, feels like inviting, but it feels scary at the same time because who is there it says it echoes back at me no one's there but i feel like if i was there which i almost feel like i have been i could look outside my window and i don't know would i see someone there even though there's no one there I, it's weird okay this isn't just like a jump scare type of horror or like alone in the dark this is plain daytime images that for some reason make people feel nostalgic sad sometimes happy scared and elicits some sort of like response that is hard to explain are you with me or am i like am i just crazy like <laughs> i've been drinking nothing but water today so i'm not on anything cabrones <laughs> i'm obsessed with this stuff welcome home like thank you for some reason i feel like i could live there but not in real life and it makes me scared it is the contrast of colors of like the blue and the greens and shit man i'm starting to sound crazy just talking about this how, how did why did i decide to make this video <laughs> this is an actual genre that i feel is so underexplored and a very small amount of people actually have seen it before let's dive a little deeper does anyone know the origins of this photo or if this place exists first of all that question itself is creepy second of all i don't understand why i feel like i've seen this place before i feel like i've been there in a way the response is most definitely a man seen and even played on some as a kid all in malls okay that could be like a place that you could find at a mall i've seen a place like this at a mall once places like this do exist it looks like a kid's play space or discovery center possibly a daycare if you go back left right and straight you'll find yourself in a mall so a mall I fucking love this, muchachos. We are just exploring what Dreamcore is. More Dreamcore content. I feel like the best way to understand this Dreamcore concept is not for me to try and explain it to you, but for me to just show you. And then you can think about how you feel. Would you like to play a game? We could play house or maybe hide and seek. Please play with me. It's been so long since I last had a visitor. I would pop that shit out of the... Lick that whole fucking head of yours, bro. Like, oh, wait, hold up. Pause on that. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> I want candy. I want candy. That's all. Okay, that just got weird. Uh... <laughs> Chingada madre. Sometimes Dreamcore images will have captions like this, and they will make no sense. But they kind of add to the creepiness of the image. And I don't know what it is about this image. This one's just weird, dude. Like, the, the girl with the lollipop. Come on, it's getting dark. So, 
you have to go home. This is this is you going home. But what is that in the distance? What is that weird thing in the in the right? What is that? That says don't go here in upside down letters. This way it's safe. And what's with those smudges in this? See what I mean? This is one of those that looks interesting on the surface, but kind of like has some weird shit going on. The motherfuckers out here in the corner like. <laughs> <laughs> and the little sister's like, I'm getting help. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm getting too carried away here. <laughs> Sorry, Ali. <Ollie. laughs> if you search Dreamcore on YouTube, there's an entire list of videos that you can check out. But let's look at a compilation together real quick. Okay, we're gonna start it like this. Uh, <laughs> I feel like a quinceanera ceremony is about to start before they actually go to the dance floor. Or if this is just some weird drag queen house, like what? Drag queen church service. Either way, I don't like the feeling it gives me. So I'm gonna go to the next one. This one could be dream core, but it could also be like liminal spaces. No sé, cabrones. I, I can't even say Diosito, ayúdame, por favor, because this isn't scary. It's unsettling. Type in the comments right now if you agree with me. Because we've only been looking at images like this. This got like the happy blue skies with the green grass and the something like this that's... <laughs> Highly compressed, but I, I just like, is that a trampoline on the ground? What is that? We've been looking at stuff like this. Who is in that tent? I just want to know. I almost want to go here just to walk. Like, remember that game we played recently on the three scary games video? I think it was called My Happy Place. And I was just so in awe by this aesthetic. I couldn't really put my finger on it, but I was drawn to it. Also, would Amanda the Explorer be categorized as weird core or dream core? Now that we've looked at this, a a Amanda the Explorer kind of fits that tone where there's like something dark going on behind the happiness of the game and it has like similar color similar vibe like highly compressed images the audio is kind of weird i think you could call that game dream core but like i said we've only been looking at the happy images the happy images they kind of make you feel like you're in a dream or like you've been there in a dream or like you want to dream of that place but there's the opposite side of that the nightmarish ones like this one this one definitely this one and this one like, there's someone right there. I don't know why I just got chicken skin looking at this image. Something about this image doesn't feel right. Maybe the colors, the weather, the fact that there's someone standing right there. Like, if I was dreaming, if I was having a nightmare of this, the only response I would have is to run. If you see this in your dreams, do not walk up to that person. And if you do, kick him in the balls. FNAF? <laughs> We're about to play laser tag with Kido Kentucky. No, for real though, that might, that's a, that's a creepy place. That is a real life place, but the exit seems blocked off. It says exit, but can you actually leave? Hey, yo, could I get some sweet iced tea to munch on and maybe some chicken tenders to slurp on? Do you put the goal at the big giant soccer balls or the soccer balls into the, uh, how do you fit in? two big giant balls into that tiny goal. Okay, up. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I like this one. This one feels inviting for some reason, right? Like, am I right? Do you feel invited to this place? But then you got weird shit like that windmill back here. Doesn't have any of the, of the, the, the thing, the windmill, the, the wings, the, the shits, the, 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 the blades. I can't help but stay. I've been staring at this image for like a minute now. All right, I'm going to go to the next one. This is one of my favorite Dreamcore images that I've seen. I've seen a lot of them. I've been looking at this right here. This is one of my favorites because this place cannot be real. I want to go there, but I'm scared to go there. I want to travel to this place just to stand at this street at this exact point in time where the sun is hitting the houses to the right and casting a shadow on to, on the street like that. I could look at this one all day long. Then imagine like some evil cat in the hat just like is standing on the driveway, just waving at you. <laughs> okay, my imagination is going places, but look, this video is already weird. Hey, look, it's your kindergarten classroom, but spooky. Hey, you want to play some basketball at night? Or maybe we could sit by this park bench together and watch the swings move by themselves. Or we could come back when it's foggy. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder what they sell here. 
<laughs> I don't I, I don't like the green door. That green door sucks, dog. Whoever chose that green door, there's a special place in hell for you. Also, who has round garages? I would live in this house. 100%. I would live in this house. I Don't ask me why. I don't like this. There's some liminal space images mixed in here, but this one particularly makes me feel extremely scared. It reminds me of exploring the asylum and I don't like it. I'm going to the next image. This one too. And this one. This one is such a vibe. I, <laughs> I don't know how, what to even say to this one. <laughs> Man is a whole mood right now. Is that shaving cream or is that his suit? I hate this one. I hate this image right here. Reggae, man, we're going to the next one. I hate this one too. Stop it. Okay, you're getting into the creepy shit now. I don't like this. I wanted dream core not turn on nightmare mode. What the f What is that? My flight or flight response is a flight or flight or flight or right. My left or right. Flight or flight. Flight or fight or fucking Response is tingling right now. <laughs> Who is that? There's figures coming down the street. Nuh uh. Oh, I kind of want to stop here. I feel like I've. Been, hold on. This one, I feel like I stopped here like on a road trip. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one too. I hate this one. I like this one. I swear I've seen a 1980s adult movie with this house in it. Okay, next. <laughs> I would swim in that pool. 9.5 out of 20. Yep, next. Definitely next. I, but I can't click next. I, I'm just staring at it, man. I, <laughs> this is what I do before bed now. I look at these images. There's something wrong with me, muchachos. My local mall when the pandemic hit. <laughs> I would play here. That looks safe. <laughs> if I had to choose a slide, I would pick this one right here. I know. You imagine coming in here with nothing but a flashlight. It's pretty much how they took this picture. Did I, my grandma or somebody must have had a house that has this room in it. I've been in this room before. I, can, I can't explain it, but that is a Mexican room. I've been in this room before. It's the kind of shit that as a little boy, I would imagine like that bear would turn and look at me or something. Very unsettling image. All right, next. Dog, I swear to God, the walls in the asylum look like this. Okay. Uh, this one makes me want to scratch, man. What in the actual fuck is this? I don't know how, but I've been in this situation before. Me and this man about to fight for the last blue bell mint chocolate chip ice cream tub. And he's not ready, fool. I bite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite like this place right here. I don't like this one either. This is definitely a house you end up in when you go to the back rooms. <laughs> that shit cannot be real. Where even is this? It's inside a building. Hentai. It's always hentai, dog. Look at the tentacles coming out. Is that someone at the end of the... Right by the door? Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm definitely getting out of here. Almost there. I'm almost out of here, muchachos. We're almost out of here. Shit, where did... Where, how did we end up here? Take me back to the happy places. We're still inside. Correle! We're in a room with Thomas the Dank Engine. There's an exit there, but you can't exit. Random hallway. I I don't want to go down this hallway. Indoor playground and what the fuck is that? Back rooms. Oh, fuck. Still the back rooms. Do you see me? I can feel your eyes. Stop that. Don't say that to me. I'm just trying to get out of here. Can we just... Uh, this is not out. I guarantee you this is still inside for some reason. This is definitely still inside. That's a chair? Let me out of here, please. This is definitely what it feels like to be in the back rooms. I, we can't get out of here. It's nothing but these images. Down the stairs. Through all the houses? Come on. F weird. There it is. There it is. A double door. Where does it lead to? More shit. Come on, man. Let me out of here. I just want to leave. I I swear I've been here in FNAF. Still indoors. Still indoors. Come on. The exit. Outdoors. All right. We made it out. <laughs> that was a weird journey we just went on. <laughs> Lucid dreaming isn't all that it's cracked up to be. I can only assume I've been here for seven months now. There's a door that I could never seem to open. It's taunting me. Okay. This is really fucking weird now. Okay. <laughs> This video has been weird. <laughs> Thank you for going on this journey with me. I hope that uh, you learned something today about Dreamcore. Unless you already knew about it, in which case, uh, thanks for sharing my addiction. <laughs> it's time to go now. Please leave. And with that, muchachos, we'll be walking through the door and... <laughs> what the f*** did 
what the fuck am I doing? This 